Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can add the dynamic reference line uh, for any measure on which you want to show the minimum line, maximum line, average line, median line and percentile line. So these are the lines which are now by default present within uh, a specific type of the chart like in this case cluster chart where these dynamic reference lines are present and they are very good as compared to the constant line. So for example, let's say if you don't have any constant value, but you want to show, uh, let's say based on any drill down or anything, you want to show dynamic reference line, then in that case, these options can be really useful. So let me go to the Power BI and show you. And before that, a quick information that this sheet is present in the description. So this is a live sheet which you can add it as a bookmark where I am keeping all of my historical video. Also any future video I will keep on adding it over here so that you can easily access it by simply searching it uh, any of my tutorial and jumping it directly using all of these links which is present in the column B. All right with that let's move on to the Power BI. So here we are in the Power BI and if you remember from my previous video what I have added is the uh, the constant line. So what I'll do is I will just remove these constant line. And this line option is present here. Usually we are over here in the field section where we create a chart. In this case, I have created a clustered column chart. So what do I have is the order date and the sales value. And on the tool table, I'm showing the quantity. So the bars are showing the sales, but if you hover over to any part, it shows both sales and quantity as the tooltip. Now the good thing, the important thing to note is that uh, I'm using the clustered column chart. It may be a possibility, for example, in the stack chart, you may not have all of these options available. So just to make sure that you use the right chart, otherwise you may be puzzling as to why some of the options are not getting uh, shown over here for you. All right, so for this cluster chart, uh, I have shown you the constant line, but if you want to add any minimum line, since it will be here at the start. So I will just add that and uh, you will see that whatever is the minimum value in this case, the fabric, it's been added it over here, right? You can change the color like I have shown earlier. Maybe it's this light gray. Uh, transparency, I will keep it dotted and the position, I will make it behind so that it is not taking a lot of your eye attention. You can enable or disable the data label, like what is the value, but for now I will just disable this. Similarly, what you can do is you can come over here onto the max line, add it, right? Uh, so this is a max line, which is nothing but the top. So what is the value? Measure, measure it is based on the sales. If you have multiple measure, that's also a scenario where you can have like multiple measure over here, let's say the profit. And you can keep it based on the profit. So what is the color? Color, let's say we want to make it a little bit dark. Um, transparency is fine. Uh, we will make it dotted. So that's how you know you can see it, that it is a dynamic one. Now similarly, what you can add is the average line. Once you click on add, you have the average line over here. Again, uh, you have these options which you can change. Let's say I want to make it slightly more darker and I want to move it to behind and want to live the line style as dotted. All right. So this is my median line. And if I want to enable my data label, this is my median label. I can change the color, let's say to black. And what is my median label over here? Okay. So down there, you have a couple of more options for data labels, uh, like whether you want it on the left side or on the left, right side, whether you want above or below, display units is auto, but you want to change it, let's say 2000, it will be 191K and decimal place, let's say you want to make it zero, that way you will just have the 191K. So some, some good options are there, which you will require to format the line. Similarly, what you have is the median line, simply you will go ahead and add this. So median is over here so it is slightly less than the uh, the average line so it's a it's an important uh, decision point where you want to use sale the average line or the median line but in this case if you want to show both that's something which is available to you 
So now I will make it a little bit more darker, let's say. And I will choose again the dotted and behind. All right. So if you want to show the data label, you can show the data label. Again, you will have a lot of different options which you can change. You want to show data value, name or both. Let's say you want to clearly indicate that this is a median line, then this is a median line. Similarly, over there, uh, if you want to show both, you come to text and change to both. So it's is average line, this is median line. Also, you can edit this average line by double clicking over here, simply saying average, right? That's very much more useful. Same way you can change the median line value by double clicking over here, go into the edit mode and change the line name. Finally, a very important and amazing option which is which I really like is the percentile. Like for example, we want we can dynamically define, let's say the 30% that where we are at 30% or 50% or 90%. So I will just say maybe better option is 30% sales what is a percentile percentile i want is 30 percent oops let's change this to three zero three zero okay so this is the 30 percentile value that is based on the the monthly charts that you are having it over here same way as you would expect you can increase or decrease this and change this to wherever you know it is going or it is taking you based on the percentile value right so this option is very nice uh, when it comes to like a statistical line and you can add multiple lines like 30 percent you can add uh, i don't know 70 percent if you want if i go down yeah something like 70 percent and that way you can have multiple dynamic lines which is as per your need so this can be somewhere around yeah 70 yeah close to 69 or 70 percent but you got the idea what i what i'm trying to do or what i'm just helping you in terms of uh, trying to show it over here as to how you can add these multiple dynamic lines which will be updated uh, based on the figure that you are having. So for example, right now we are showing month, but let's say we want to show all levels, right? So you will see that the values will be changed accordingly. And when you go down, uh, click to turn on, okay, over here, it's one level down, one level down, and I think even the one level down, the different dates. So that way you can basically make a decision as to how you want to uh, at what level you want and your lines will be changing accordingly and that's the best part about these dynamic reference line that it is so easy to configure and uh, very easy to use based on the various values that you have configured in your drill down so with that thank you so much for watching and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic